We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today I'm cheating. Uh, this is this is not um, normally when I get something in, it's used for a week or two weeks and it's tested and all the rest of it. Uh, but occasionally I will do an unboxing video, in that uh, yeah, I, I I'm I'm just it's a show and tell. It's a show and tell. I want to make that clear at the start. So you're either going to watch this and go, well, I've seen enough. I might go and buy one. Or you're going to wait for some, you know, full on testing from somebody else. But from me, all you're getting is a pretty much an out the box. I have used it for a day, um, but I, I've not given it the normal testing that I would do. This is just an out the box video. So just making that clear. Uh, this is the Paradox. Uh, this is a collaboration between Aspire and No Name and uh, out of Italy and it's actually loosely based or it is based on the Sudab. Now I reviewed this uh, a few weeks ago. This is the from No Name. Now this is the, the No Name version uh, and, and this setup as you see it now is close to 600 euros. Uh, what I'm actually going to show you here the styling is very much the same, but this is mass produced. And I think Cheeky Vape are selling it for about 50 pounds in the UK. Uh, so here we go. So taking this out the sleeve and uh, this is the Quicksilver one. There is a, another color as well. Uh, the strange thing is, is that the colors don't actually match up with the, the ninth tank that they just released. The shades are slightly different, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice if they'd matched. It's from the Prestige line, uh, obviously, because this is a collaboration with a, a modder. Open it up, you're going to get booklets in here and some decals. And you will also find a Type-C charger in the accessories box. Now with no battery in this, uh, you're looking about 164 grams. It's, for me personally, it's got a good weight to it without feeling like it's really, really heavy. Um, but it's, yes, got a good weight to it. Uh, height wise, you're looking about 78 millimeters uh, and 22, 27 millimeters across the top, I should say, and about 42 millimeters across here. This is a 75 watt mod and it's just wattage, that's it. But I'm gonna put that down there here and I'm just gonna line up the Sudab beside it and uh, there you go. So the styling is, yes, is very much the same. Uh, it, they're made very differently, but uh, yeah, you can see where the inspiration has come from. So once again, this was no name, not mass produced out of Italy. And this is no name and Aspire, and this is a mass produced one. Just so you can see here, this is a 25 millimeter tank and you will get a 25 mil on there without any overhang. I have no issues with the 510 on this and yes, it's spring loaded. And you can see that we have like a, a, a polished brushed look going on on the top here like that. Then we have the, the painted finish running down here. This is like, is like a rubber uh, and this fits in your hand. Just like the Sudab, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, and the firing button is located behind here. And it just, if you look there, I can just push it anywhere there, squeeze it, push it at the top, whatever you want, and it will fire. Because this is held on by magnets. So if I take that out the way there, uh, you can see that we have our firing button here. We've got our up and down button here, our USB-C. And if we look at the back of this, you can see we've got a magnet in there. There's a big magnet down here and the cutouts for the buttons. And it just, it doesn't, it won't go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it, it's actually like the Sudab, it's very well done. I'm going to be honest actually. I actually prefer this one to the Sudab because the buttons here are far easier to get at. We do have the, the No Name logo here. Aspire. These are actually, you know, engraved into the actual metal. Uh, down the bottom we have this and uh, we're going to put in a single 18650 battery. There is a sticker at the bottom telling you that it's positive up. Uh, I've no issues with wraps or thick wraps. You know, they go in here no problem. There's big chunky threading on this battery cap. Uh, as always, there's a few turns, um, but um, yeah, it's the, the threading's not bad in it at all. That's it down. 
there you go no rattles at all there and then we have uh, just as, as basic as basic can be here uh, it's just up and down and uh, that that is about it and it will go in 0.1 increments it'll go all the way up to 75 watts I, I don't I don't know if this is the same board as the mix I'm not entirely sure I can't remember there are various button combinations for doing things with the screen and so on but to be honest with this one uh, you just you're just going to set it to whatever you want you're going to put that the cover back on or the switch back on and uh, you'll probably never look at the screen again um, it's not one that you know you know you're not going to be playing with the, the buttons at all you're just going to have that on there fire and away you know you can do five clicks and lock it off and 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 that's it <laughs> that's all you're going to be doing you don't see the screen so you don't worry about the buttons it does have open circuit short circuit low voltage protection overcharge protection overheat protection low resistance protection and battery reverse polarity it's all built in there once again, doing some shameless promotion, I've popped the heart on here and uh, that's just a standard 22mm RTA and uh, we'll go for a vape and I'll let you know what I think. I must admit, when I do these unboxing things, I, I do feel like I'm cheating because it's just an initial impression. There's, there's no long-term testing or even a week or two weeks testing. It's just an out-the-box experience and what do I think. Uh, I will say out-the-box... I've had this for quite some time, well, a couple of months, and I love the firing button on the Sudab. It is super. It was the best thing about the mod, was the firing button. And I'm... It's the same. It's just as good as the Sudab. And the fact they've gone with this rubber insert here and they've taken this line in, it just fits in the hand and you don't worry about pushing a button with a finger or a thumb or anything. You just squeeze it and away you go. And that's it. It's a simple 75 watt board. There's there's no temp control or anything like that. No bells and whistles. Uh, once again, I don't bother with locking buttons and things like that because it's all underneath here. I will say the same as I said with the Sudab. It's one that you will lock when you put it in your pocket. Don't just five clicks. Just five clicks and lock it because this will fire with any pressure against it. It will fire. Um, 510 is fine, the, the, the finishing on it is, see the mix, the mix uh, that it did, they did with Sunbox, yes, Sunbox, um, it's as good a quality as that, so I, I'm, I'm going to give them a thumbs up on that one, they've, this Prestige line, they've, they've, they've kind of nailed it, um, it's 50 quid, um, 50 pounds, and it's got a lovely weight going on with it and in the time I've had it, pointing that out, in the time I've had it, I think it's a really good mod. Um, it, it, it won't replace the Sudab for me, but for the money I think it's, it's a really good bit of kit. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you. Uh, yet once again, it's it does have a USB slot, USB-C on the front, it's behind the door. Um, uh, yeah, as always with these things, take the battery out, put it in a, an external charger rather than charging inside the device, but you can if you have to. Uh, it, it's, yes, this is uh, a nice wee bit of kit, this. Nice wee bit of kit. Once again, I got this from Alex at Cheeky Vape in the UK, and um, yeah, I got it free to review or free to show off to you guys. Uh, and until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and bye for now.